guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a review of a product for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be reviewing for you the Flower Beauty Skin Cognito Stick Foundation. If you guys have been following me most recently, you know that I have fallen in love with the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Highlight Palette. It's such a good palette, it's really good formula, it lays nicely on the skin. I was so impressed with it, so when I went to Walmart a couple weeks ago, I was kind of perusing down the Flower Beauty aisle, and I ran into this, and I was, number one, curious on it to see how it worked, but also I thought I was gonna give it a chance just because since I really liked the other product from Flower Beauty so much I'm like let's test this out let's see how it works so I mentioned it in a past haul video and I wanted to really test it out for you guys and see how my skin reacted to it how it looked how it laid and now I have compiled all that information for you guys so you can get this product at Walmart at any Walmart near you you can also get it at Walmart online or you can get it on flowerbeauty.com they did just launch their recent website Walmart it's actually $8.98 was the amount that I paid for this foundation and at the Walmart because I got mine in store at the Walmart I only saw five or four shades I can't remember off the top of my head if it was four or five but I only saw four or five shades in store I picked mine up in the second to darkest shade in store and this is SF Four. And it looks like online they have eight different shades that you can pick from but in store yeah it was only five shades and I picked up the second to darkest one so if you have a deep complexion or a dark complexion and you're going to buy this in store you may not find this shade for you just because like I said they only had five shades in store and then the next darkest is just tanner than I am but it's not a deep shade you may be better off buying this online either on Walmart's website or Flower Beauty's website I love the packaging it's just white and it has the rose gold like other Flower Beauty packages it is plastic but just looking at it like this looks pretty nice and you open it up it's just like a stick foundation you have that like little stopper thing and then you actually have your product it rolls up right here and then you have your cap in this one you get 0.32 ounces which is exactly the same as the Anastasia foundation but it's less than you get in the makeup forever ultra HD foundation stick So now jumping into the actual formula I will insert clips of me putting on this foundation I will show you a comparison as like I progressively add on more first and foremost with this foundation it's a very smooth texture it's very creamy texture it glides on very nicely without pulling on your skin there is gonna be a little bit of tug just because it's a stick foundation that's going on your skin but it's almost like non-existent and tugs a lot less than the Anastasia one does it's a little bit harder than the makeup forever HD one this one literally just glides on like nothing but it's a good in between this is something I can still do the Anastasia one just it's too much like I have to go in with a beauty oil and like it really tugs at the skin but not this one so I really like that it glides on very nicely this shade in particular is a little bit more yellow tone but it's a nice neutral yellow tone the other shades range that are in there they had a good array of like some peaky tones some yellow tones but they're not one or the other I'd say that this one's more of an actual medium coverage foundation so you do see that you have it on your face if you apply it on compared to like a bare side but it's not gonna give you intense full coverage right away you definitely have to build up to it in order for me to get the amount of coverage that I want which is more of a full coverage kind of look not extreme full coverage but full coverage I find that I have to go in twice all over my face and then I have to go in a third time for any areas that I have like a little bit of bump or if there's like extreme redness or something like like that I do have to go over that specific area three times try this out with a beauty blender kind of sponge and also a brush and I would have to say that the brush is a little bit more difficult to blend out you're still able to blend it out and it does still provide coverage so if you use a beauty sponge you're probably gonna get more coverage more of that straight medium coverage but you can use a brush if you prefer a brush over a foundation sponge and what I really like about it is that even though this is a medium coverage product you can build this up to full coverage without it looking cakey it's like a cream to powder kind of almost finish on your skin like I said you can build it up without it looking cakey or dry or starting to break up or anything like that so you do feel it on your face is not like an ultra lightweight foundation but it's also not something that's uncomfortable to wear for extended periods of time the wear time on this one is so so I would say that it lasts just like an average foundation maybe about six and eight hours and after that you have really oily skin and you typically start breaking up in like the t-zone area that's probably going to happen with this foundation even if you set it so it's an average wear foundation it's not extremely long wearing it's also not like you apply it once and then it's completely gone but I also do have some cons and some negative things that I have to say about this foundation. Number one tip I can give you guys if you use this foundation, I would use a more 
silky liquidy primer as opposed to like a pore minimizing primer that's more of like a, a skin texture. Realize that when I use my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer, I really love this primer, but I find that it works better with more liquid foundations because with this one, I put it on and it was almost looking like it was like kind of breaking up in certain areas that I had applied that primer to. I think it's just the like creaminess onto creaminess that kind of like mushes it together and balls it up. So if you're gonna use this product, I definitely recommend not using something like this or like the Benefit Pore Professional. If you have dry skin or if you have combo skin and you have extremely dry patches on your face, you are not gonna like this foundation and I do not recommend wearing this foundation. So when I came back from Myrtle Beach, I had dry patches over here and it was like peeling a little bit, but not too bad. And then I have a really dry like nose area right here, a really dry chin area right here. And you guys know my under eyes are extremely dry. So when I came back, I put this on and it looked like crocodile skin. It looked so bad. It will emphasize all of your dry patches. It will emphasize like the little like um, flares that you have. It will emphasize all those little dry areas and kind of make them look even more like crackly and scaly. So if you have extremely dry skin, I don't think this is gonna be a good foundation for you. I think if you have oily skin, you really are gonna like it because it's easily buildable and it can provide the coverage that you're looking for. And because you have more uh, oils on your face, it's gonna just glide on nicely. But if you have any dry patches on your face, I would stay away from this foundation. They're going to show up and trust me, it's not gonna look pretty. So my final thoughts on this product, is this product worth it? Like I said, if you have oily skin, I think for $9 this is a really good steal. I definitely, definitely recommend you picking this one up over the Anastasia one. It's creamier, it's smoother, and it's cheaper than the Anastasia one, so definitely try this one out. So that is it for you guys. Leave it down in the comments below what thoughts are on this product, or if you guys have tried it yourself, I wanna know your experience with it. Leave it down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you stay up to date with all my latest videos, and don't forget to turn on the notifications because that way you will be notified when a new video is up. Turn to Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff's gonna be linked down below for you guys, as well as coupon codes to help you save some money on some products. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.